welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm unboxing my Christmas gift from my husband, which is a Pongratz A-Face doll. And I have been wanting an A-Face doll for quite some time now. And there was one in Germany and you know, I had been looking at it for a while and he told me just go ahead and buy it for your Christmas present. So I did and it has been in transit for almost two months now. It arrived, today is December 31st and it arrived today just in time to close out 2020. So that is incredible. I'm really excited to open it now. But what I want y'all to do is because this is a vintage doll and because it, um, my last Pongrats that I opened, I didn't do an unboxing for it, but I did a, a video where I was showing you guys how I was restoring it because it smelled like cigarette smoke. So if you would please send me all your good vibes right now that this guy does not smell. I know that you're not watching this live with me, but time isn't a straight line anyway, according to some physicists. So just hope with me that he doesn't smell because I'm really worried that he might. Okay. Oh, he came in a nice box. That's really nice. That's probably the nicest box I've ever gotten um, from an eBay used doll. Very nice. Okay, let's hope he doesn't smell. Everybody, like, send me all your good vibes. Okay. Where are you, little guy? <gasps> there he is. Oh, look at him. He's so sweet. I'm talking to him like I talk to my cat. <laughs> That's how I always tell my cat he's so sweet. Look how sweet he is. Oh, let me smell him. He doesn't smell. Yay. That's exciting. Thanks for your good vibes and wishes. Oh, wow. He's, he's got a little... It's got a touch of that vintage smell, but not like the cigarette smoke of the last one. Oh my gosh, y'all, he is so precious. So his wig has seen better days, I think. Um, this is a mohair wig and you can see some of the orange stitching is starting to show through around the crown of his head. And um, there's probably not a lot I can do about that because what I don't want to happen is I don't want to lose fiber from the wig but I might be able to take a sock. Um, socks are really good for uh, like reshaping doll hair if you need to do it without water because I can put a sock over his head and kind of get this hair to lay down some. So I may try that. Oh y'all he's so sweet. So he's got an A face. The A face is different than the B face. You can't buy the A face Pongratz dolls anymore. I have been doing a lot of research about these dolls. Um, I sound like, like I'm trying to do some crazy scientific stuff, but I've been doing a lot of research about these dolls, trying to figure out how many of these A faces were made and how long they were made. I know that they at least, I believe they were at least made through about 87 or so. I don't really know for sure, but you can't get them. They don't make them this A face anymore. And so the difference that you can tell with the A face is there's no, um, like above the cupid's bow of the lip, there's no indentation in the wood. In the B face, there is a bit of a, you know how you have that, indentation over your your cupid's bow there's not one of those on the a faces and so they're they're much more hard to find than the b face dolls and i've been wanting one of these so bad since i saw one in person at the toy shop and like i said this one was in germany and i have been watching him for a while on ebay and but i want to show y'all something really special about this doll so i'm going to disrobe him um i'm like i'm so so excited to have him. I don't know if his shirt is original or not. His trouser or his little overalls definitely are, but this shirt looks almost like a like a baby shirt. Um, hmm. Somebody wrote BK on his neck. I don't know what that's about, but look at his back. So, oh, he's still got more underwear. So his he's got his original. These are his original shoes and socks for sure. Um, they're the original Pongrass style um, with the, so really overall, you know, he's in, 
um, decent condition. Let me, this shirt might be original actually, cause you know what, they're, um, the babies have shirts like this. I don't have a Pongratz baby yet. Maybe for 2021, that'll be on my, my wish list of things to finally add to my collection. I'm trying to take his shorts off without removing his shoes. So, and now we're gonna take his shirt off. This is the first thing you get here and you gotta take all your clothes off for inspection, buddy, sorry. So we've got to come up with a name for him. Um, and I like to give them, because they're German dolls, I kinda like to give them a German name, so I don't know. But I already named one of them. Um, I've got one Wolfgang, so I need to think of a good um, German name for him. So if you have any recommendations, feel free to leave them below. But let me show you the, the cool part here on this guy. Oh look, he's got some thread there. I wonder what that went to. I hate that he doesn't still have his tag. One of the things about Pongrat stalls, before I show you this part that's really special that I keep talking about, is because of the way they're spring jointed, they never get loose. Like over top, they're not strong, they're spring jointed and the springs never get loose. This doll's from 1983 and is not loose. So how do I know he's from 1983? So I'm gonna show you this on the back. So his numbering, 83A33. The 83 stands for the year that the mold was made, or maybe not the mold, um, but the year that that face was made. So in 83, they made both the A face and the B face. So all of your A face and B face dolls are gonna start with 83, because 1983 was the year they designed this, these faces. Then we've got an A here. So the A after the 83, is for A face. So on the B dolls, the next letter will be a B. And then I've got the number 33. That means that he is the 33rd A face doll that was made. So that is why I'm pretty confident he was actually made in 1983 because he is doll number 33. And um, he signed with Elizabeth Pongratz his full name, Elizabeth Pongratz Chauffeur, which is only done on her very earlier dolls. Um, after that, they're mostly just signed on the foot. So the ones that are signed on the back like this, that is an earlier doll, and I really believe he is probably from 1983, 84 at the absolute latest because he is doll number 33. So I've actually done some studies, some studies, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've done some studies for my thesis where I've looked at the numbers of these dolls and I've compared them. A friend of mine has an A face and she shared a picture and hers is number 500 something. So I think hers will be a later doll, like a 86, 87, because they only make a few hundred dolls a year. So I've looked at the ranges of numbers and actually tried to figure out um, in my mind, you know, how many dolls were made each year, but he is so precious. And you can see, um, you can see how the patina on his face, like his face is a little bit yellower than his body that's been covered with clothes. And that's a natural thing that wood does. You know, wood um, kind of absorbs its environment and it, you know, it gets a patina on it. And, but he's got a really sweet, it's not like that. The other one I had was a nicotine yellow. This is not the same thing. This is more like a natural patina. I don't know why the back of his neck is marked BK. That kind of bothers me a little bit, but not, you know, not too bad. I don't know. I don't feel like that is probably an original mark and it looks like it was done in ballpoint pen, but what's important is he does have the, the signature here from Elizabeth Pongratz and he has the number. I'm gonna check his foot just to see. I can't remember, the seller did show me, but honestly, y'all, it's been so long ago that I cannot remember. But I feel like he might have had some sort of stamp on his foot as well. So let me check that out real quick. Not on that one. Look at his little farmer's tan though. <laughs> That's so cute. We call that a farmer's tan here in South Carolina. I don't know if y'all would call, everybody else calls it that. You know, the farmer goes out in the field and they're covered up and they get sun. No, so he doesn't have any stamping on his foot, but he has the cutest little farmer's tan you've ever seen. Oh my gosh. But that's from that patina because, you know, he's covered up. Oh, look at him. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. 
The funny thing is too, like I really wanted a girl, but the more I looked at this boy, I was like, you know what? He needs to come home with me. And I am so grateful to my wonderful husband who decided also that I had obsessed for long enough about this doll that I needed to bring him home. And I am just so thrilled to finally have an A face Pongrats in my collection. It is a dream come true for me. I love these dolls so much and they're getting harder and harder to find. You know, and it's like anything, you know, right now I think they're going through a surge of kind of, I won't say popularity, but more people are looking for them right now. So it's a little more competitive when one comes onto the secondary market to get it. Um, and of course, like all things, you know, all dolls kind of do that. They, they vary in prices, but I'm just really happy to have gotten him. Like, I'm just so thrilled to be able to add this A-Face fella to my collection. So what I'll do guys is I will put some pictures at the end of the video of him next to one of the B-Faces so you can see the difference between the way the face molds work or the way the face shapes. I keep saying mold but it's not a mold because they're carved. Um, it's, it's the way the face is designed. So I'll show you some pictures of that at the end and I am just so thrilled to add this guy to my collection. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any wooden dolls yourself or if you have any Pongrats dolls and um, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye!